It's egregious. It's ridiculous. It's ludicrous. Give me any O-U-S word and it's that. And in first place, with a score of 46. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> Jordan Goins, Rob Peeling, Alex Charles, and Kendall Whack it off. <laughs> For all you flagrant scramble cheaters, be put on notice. People have cell phones and will put you on blast. This group is now mega viral for coming in with a 46. I get the benefit of being able to play in a handful of scrambles throughout the year, and typically they're all the same. And there is a group that exists like this in damn near every scramble I've ever played in. But this is egregious on a level that I don't think any of us have ever seen. And the amount of people standing on that rotunda putting these guys on blast. Hell, the guy couldn't even announce it without chuckling. This video is everywhere. Instagram, Reddit, you name it. If you follow a golf community page or social media, you have seen this video. And if you haven't, welcome. We love doing content like this here, talking about golf. Go ahead and hit subscribe. We're gonna break this down. <laughs> If you can see, the next lowest score on that board was a 53. So these guys came in seven strokes ahead of the next closest score. And even with the 53 and scramble rules, that's still even egregious. These things usually do come in mid 50s with all the different buy a hole, buy a drive, all the different mulligans you can buy. There's a handful of ways to get these low scores. And hell, you're you're playing best ball. There's always a bit of gamesmanship in this. If you ain't cheating, are you even trying? I get it. But 46, bro, seven ahead of the next closest team, we all call foul. Again, if you played in Scramble, you know the deal going in that you gotta pull it off. You put a par on the card, you're like, damn, you're cringing. You're worried about it and how you're gonna fare. But these guys, Superman. Even though you can't really hear what he says there, apparently someone caught him saying that there was a three handicap on the team. I don't care. I'm around an eight handicap. Five strokes, give or take. There's not a huge difference there. I've played on a scramble with a scratch golfer and I don't care how well we're playing. No one is pulling in a 46. The bullshit is so heavy and thick in this one. Just take your L, man. Just shut up, take the abuse. You know you're full of crap. If, if we were doing things like that, there should be pictures of that hole in one on the par four of somebody walking up to the cup with the ball in the hole. Show some evidence or something. You can't just be shooting lights out like that and not say anything. The last scramble I played in earlier this year, we were on fire. I mean, we were flagging shots. We had three really good players that day and we were hitting shots left and right. And we were yelling and excited on a couple of the holes where there's people watching or monitoring for the hole in ones and we would hole out a long putt or get a eagle or a birdie. We were cheering and loud and it was like, infectious and i've also played in some scrambles where we just sucked it up and the energy in the group was crap and people were like yeah man it was a hard day out there but people in that scramble where we were lights out knew that we were shooting lights out it was a course where there's some elevated tee boxes and you can see down below on the next green and see shots coming in when we turned in our pretty damn good score there weren't a lot of questions from the groups that played in front and behind us of what we shot that day. I wonder for those that were in this scramble with them, I really want to know what the tone and energy was around them. <laughs> and even though they scanned past that scorecard really quickly, these guys had a damn albatross on a par four. Who do they have playing with them? Good, good, driving par fours and whatnot. It's egregious. It's ridiculous. It's ludicrous. Give me any O-U-S word and it's that. This was <laughs> the most 
outrageous show of cheating that I've ever seen. Again, that card was spectacular. Circles all over the place. And the fact that they had to correct the score and go one more down than they originally marked themselves or counted themselves as, damn it, bro. What were you thinking? Who was the moral compass in the group to say, man, I don't think we should do this. You know, there's always one guy in the group to say, hey man, I think we're going a little too damn far. I've been in that group. I've had to be that moral compass. Like, hey man, like man, we took eight putts at that. We cannot write down this score. We're going to have to just take an L on this one. Somebody has to speak up in that group. And we only see two of the guys in this set of clips. Where are the other two guys? Did they get out of town that quickly? They didn't really identify who were the other two players in this group. Damn it! Where is the shame, my guys? Where is the shame? Where is the shame? Take a picture of all the winners. Why did y'all leave? You afraid to take a picture after shooting a 46? No, I'm going to shoot two Is that why? Gotcha. So here he does say, after he asked him why they didn't stick around for the pictures, that a couple of their teammates left. At what stage did that occur? Was that before they were getting razzed? Or did they immediately cut out after the round knowing that they were going to get called on their BS? Who knows? But here you can tell old man hops up out of that car like he was tired. He was so sick of being bullied at that point. Who knows how long they had stood out there after the ceremonies. Usually in these scrambles, there's talking about the charities and drawings and raffles and all that stuff that comes with playing in a scramble. How long had he sat there and been picked on, booed, before he was at his breaking point. You could tell he was ready to risk it all with this man rolling up on him with his cell phone, confronting him one last time on his way out of the parking lot. For shame. Anyway, loved talking about this video. It's just been everywhere. Every time I turn on my damn phone, I see this video and just wanted to come on, give my thoughts, talk about it. Tell me, what's the most ridiculous scramble score that you've ever written down or been a witness to. I'm curious, have you ever seen a 40 on the card? It's my first time. If you made it to this point, hit me up with the like, subscribe. Love to see you engage in the comments section. We'll catch you on the next one.